is how I play the game! That is an epic fucking intro, dude. And I have to warn everyone. Warning. What you may see right now is going to be absolutely disgusting. Sound good? Alright. That's... Sounds good to me. So here we go again. Sweaty Man JPEG basically did a hundred bit change and said, Well, you're insulting Dr. Disrespect because you called him a cartoon character. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You just literally said cartoon characters are, are a negative association. Who said that? I watch cartoons my whole life, right? I like cartoons. I can understand why some people want to watch a comedic or over-the-top crazy character. They find that entertaining. But I've been there, done that in my life. I don't sit around watching cartoons all day anymore, you know? Maybe there's people who like that, and that's why they, they, Dr. Disrespect is their... He is their cartoon, right? There's nothing wrong with that. I didn't say there was anything wrong with that. I said that that's not me, and I wanted to put out genuine content. How is me saying I wanted to do something different than be a, an app or, or a fake for popularity a negative against someone who does that? It's not. Listen, Dr. Disrespect obviously found a way to become insanely popular based on a character, right? What's wrong with that? Nothing. But what the hell does it have to do with me saying I don't want to do that? Just because I don't want to do something doesn't mean that it's 100% negative because it's just not me. It's not. I would not feel right doing that. It wouldn't feel like a meaningful stream. If right now, every stream I put on glasses and hair and, and a big outfit, and I, all right, everyone, yeah, I'm a 1980s hero and I'm going to play a game now. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, no, no. And I'm acting over the top, you know? That's not fun. For one stream of a dicking around, maybe, right? But that's not who I would want to be permanently, you know? <laughs> I just don't understand that. Like, but, but if someone else wants to do that, that's okay. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean you don't have the right to like it. And it also doesn't mean that someone else might not find it fun or popular. And it doesn't mean that it's wrong. Why do people, again, you know what this really comes down to? Everything's black and white in the minds of simpletons. It's that simple. Everything's black and white. If you're a simpleton, and you have the mind of a child, an immature mind. You think, this is right, this is wrong. There's no in-between, right? I am mature enough to understand that there are things that I don't like and I don't want to be, but it's perfectly fine to be them and be successful doing them, okay? I'm happy that I'm me and I'm still successful, okay? And then, of course, the shitheads will come and say, oh, you're not successful. Okay, fuck off. Yes, I am. I'm, this is my job and I've been able to do it for 12 years now. But I know that you're toxic. Unleash the beast. Toxic. Oh. Um, but the point I'm making is, it's not black and white. Someone else can be that and be successful. I don't have to be that. So when someone comes on my stream and says, Oh, very popular streamer got a $10,000 tip tonight. And? And what, what does that have to do with me? Obviously, you're trying to make me feel bad by saying something like that. Why? Why would I feel bad? I put out a genuine stream. I had fun tonight. I interacted with you guys. We had a good time, right? That's all I care about. That's the only reason I ever sat down in front of a camera and recorded my screen to begin with was to put out something that was genuine and fun. So I'm okay with that. Let them make their money. Let them be characters. Let them be over the top, you know, crazy personalities. And me, I'll be me. And we can agree to disagree on what's popular. That's, or well, excuse me, what's what's good. If you like that, fine. That doesn't mean that I'm hating on them saying they're bad. Calling Dr. Disrespect a cartoon character because he acts like a cartoon character isn't an insult. It's an observation of fact. And it's okay if you like that content. Why I have to elaborate on this on my stream is ludicrous. You should be mature enough in your mind to understand that the world's not black and white. And just because I don't want to do something doesn't mean it's bad. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, RBG fan, no, my, my streams are nothing, not even close to being like one of their streams. I dare you to go watch one of those streams and watch come over here and tell me it's the same content. You're out of your fucking mind. Nothing, if you're actually saying that, you're, you're just fucking stupid. I'm sorry. Cousins Ven, what is me getting a random controller for the Nintendo Switch, like the first sponsorship that I got in years, what does it have to do with talking comparing to them, who get constant sponsorships and tons of money? Like, what are you talking? Again, it's like you guys are like literally trying to nitpick stupid little things that don't prove a point to try to like, this is, but here's the oddball weirdo thing that's not a commonplace with you, Phil, but it happened to you. It's like when people say, but well, you got Fallout 4 for free seven years ago, Phil. Yeah, the, so in my 12 years, I got five sponsorships, right? That weren't money or nothing. It was just an opportunity for me to try out a controller or play a game. So what the fuck are you talking about? You have no point. You're just being stupid. Like, literally, people are distracting me now from having a good stream and playing a game with stupid shit. So, here we go. Cousins Van, Sweaty Man JPEG, RPG fan. I could have just banned you immediately and said, why am I bothering with time with idiots? Instead, I'm trying to be nice and, like, like, like you know, even-minded here. But, you see, now we're just going toward the realm of idiots who just want to attack me for the sake of attacking me.
It's fucking stupidity. See, here we go. Yeah, so this guy wants to be banned. He actually asked for a ban after insulting me all night. Okay, you can take it. <laughs> you can take your ban. You're a complete idiot. I'm just going to ban. What What it is, here's, here's the truth of, of what's going on with me over the years, okay? You will literally say something about me as a criticism, and I'll say, okay, I accept your criticism. Here's what, how I feel about it. And people will be like, well, because Phil didn't 100% agree with us, he d he d dismissed our criticism. That's not true. When you give me a criticism, I'll take it to heart. And you've seen a lot of things I've done over the years I've changed, okay? As a way of directly responding to criticisms that I've got from you guys. So understand that even if it's not an immediate change, I do take that stuff to heart and I do my best to try to become better every single day because of the things that you tell me to improve upon. But when in 12 years, 12 effing years, I've maybe gotten sponsored five times one of them recently was a controller I got in, like, March or April. One of them was when I got Fallout 4 for free, what, five years ago? You know? Oh, but you take sponsorships, Phil, don't you see? What? I took five of them in 12 years. How is that representative of being something that's, oh, you're being hypocritical right now? It's not. You're just an idiot for even fucking saying it. Like, you see what I mean? But this is what people do, is they take this one little example out of this giant body of stuff that I've done. How many videos? How many years of work? Oh, but here's one tiny example of something that's controversial or, or contradictory to what you're saying right now. So it just completely does away with anything that you're saying right now. You're in the wrong. And it's like people go out of their way to try to make me look like I'm wrong constantly, even though it's them who's stupid. But they have this crazy group thing mentality that Phil's always wrong. Phil only does crappy stuff. Phil's doesn't put effort into his work. Phil's this, Phil's that. It's all these, these negative uh, uh, associations with me. Right? That are these groupthink thoughts that just because you say, oh, see, he says something negative about Phil, it's true. Ha <laughs> ha. See that? Like, but no, I just disproved it. I literally just showed, okay, five times in 12 years does not mean you have a case against me, yet you act like it does. And now there's idiots behind the scenes laughing at it. Ha, he has a point. Ha ha ha. You're all idiots. You see? Why am I going to waste time with these fucking people? Like, literally, here's what I should do. I should see when a dumb comment is made like that and just ban. Because that's the problem with most viewers do. They ignore it or they ban. But I'm trying to be a personable guy with interactions with my viewing audience, and it seems like I'm wasting my time with these fucking people who are trying to derail the stream tonight, right? Just stupidity. Well, you're right, Alexander Rossi. This is correct. He says, 2014 DSP would have considered accepting tips and cheers and reading them as she was selling out. It's a matter of personal perspective. I don't... Not troll off the screen. He says, uh... I don't think it's a matter of... I don't... I think it's a matter of personal perspective. I don't think playing a character is selling out, personally. And that's your perspective. My, my perspective, it would be. that I wouldn't be a genuine person if, that, if that's what I... If I was pretending to be an over-the-top cartoon character, that wouldn't be me, and I wouldn't want to put out fake content. Because that's what I cherish as real content. You see what I'm saying? And I understand. Maybe you say it's okay. That's fine. And I respect that. That's why I'm not going to sit here and hate on someone like that. But you're also right. 2014 DSP would have made fun of and derided someone who does shoutouts and talks to people on a stream and does shoutouts for, for contributions. I just want to say thanks a lot to everyone. Um, I hope to entertain you in the future. Please go to my partner channel, The King of Hate HD, and click on the ads that show up on the videos there because hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, that actually starts giving me some, some money back for what I'm doing. I mean, it's not cheap to do what I'm doing. I bought a lot of games, a lot of equipment, and now I have my own condo, which is basically my studio, to do whatever the hell I want. So, you know, anything that you can give back is much appreciated. I also do have the PayPal donation on the left-hand side of my dark side fill channel it explains how to go to paypal and what uh you know email address to send a donation to darksidefill at hotmail.com uh i've gotten many many donations and as i said before if you send me a donation of you know 10 15 20 dollars or more i'll mention your name in a video because i do appreciate that so thanks a lot also 2014 dsp was an incredibly ignorant moron like i was dumb back then i didn't take any open any open criticisms i thought that my shit didn't stink i didn't want to listen to suggestions for improvement you know look how long it took for me to go to rec capture right like i openly admit i look back now at how i was six years ago and i'm like that was a stupid mentality to have and i was a moron back then right because i've changed i've grown i agree with you that that old dsp was a moron i didn't recognize the trends i didn't see the writing on the wall that things were changing on youtube and because of that that was a big reason why i ended up in the situation that i was in right so there you go. So let's keep going, guys. I got a lot of shout outs to do, so I can't play the game. Uh, only Ice Coffee cheered, said, Now people are saying, you putting on a vest in celebration. And sometimes if I just blow bubbles to be silly on the stream is like a cartoon. I disagree with that. There are rewards to hitting a milestone on the stream and not part of a character that you play like Ninja or Doc. Right. I put on a vest and it's the same stream. Just because I'm putting on a vest didn't change me into a character that changes me into someone different who I'm not. The bubble thing has nothing to even do with anything. I'm just doing it for fun. Because a week ago, I was blowing bubbles in Animal Crossing. I said, oh, I have real bubbles. So I just started every once in a while just doing it for silly fun on the stream. I think bubbles are actually fun. So because I think something's genuinely fun, I blow bubbles. 
And so, oh, he's a cartoon character. What? Because I did this, I'm a cartoon character now. Oh, okay. Hello, my children. Whatever you say. So literally anything I do on stream, then I guess I'm a cartoon character, right? <laughs> like, you're out of your mind. It's so stupid, man. Sweaty Man JPEG, listen, you can have that opinion. You could think that I look down on people bigger than me. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I don't like that quality content, that quality of content. I think that what I do is more meaningful, and therefore I'm going to be me. If you think I'm talking down to them, that's on you. I'm telling you right now, I'm not. More power to people like Ninja and Dr. Disrespect and PewDiePie who can portray a character and get popular with a, ma a wide widespread audience. Let them do whatever they want, but that audience is not my audience. Okay? Poops are cheered. He said, you could cure cancer. People would still complain complain that it took you 35 years to do it. There you go. Okay. Well, Sweaty Man JPEG cheered and said, can you blow bubbles? I already did. Uh, Foxy Senko did 100 bit cheer. He says, if I were you, I would have faked it and taken any offers that you got. Sometimes you don't like your job, but it's needed to survive and support loved ones. You could have been in a position you are now and financially stable. But uh, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, f I feel personally. La, 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 la. Happy Halloween to you. <laughs> Bloodstained. <laughs> what is this music? By the way, I'm out of water. I'm going to have to get more. Um, I feel personally that if I had literally just sold out constantly, I got all these offers back in the day, try out this controller, play this indie game for a paycheck, do this for a paycheck. If I had done that, I would have just become a constant shill. Like, there's streamers right now who are very popular. And by the way, these aren't any of the streamers I mentioned tonight. There are streamers who literally every day they're playing a new game. You're like, what are they What are they doing that for? They're literally getting paid every day by a company to play a game just because of the reach they have. And a lot of the times they're not even allowed to criticize the game or be honest about the game. They just play the game for a paycheck. That's like me. Three. That's it. That's all they do. They literally turn on a stream, play a game, receive a paycheck, turn the stream off. There's no genuineness to their content. That's not who I want to be. I'm playing Fire Emblem right now with less than 200 viewers, right? Because I, this is a game people wanted to see me play. They asked me to play it for a year. I tried it. I genuinely like the game and I want to keep playing it. Not because I'm getting paid to do it. You see? That's different to me. Like, that's who I am. That's why, even though you say I would have been better off accepting the paycheck, financially, yes. But in the inside, no. More than likely, I would have hated who I am and hated myself and, and never had it. The kind of, like, this conversation we're having right now never would have transpired if that's the kind of content creator that I was, you know? Well, mature adults talking about shitting again. Great. Jay Hale took me $25. Said, fuck him, Phil. Thank you, Jay Hale, for a $25 tip. I appreciate that. That's the biggest tip of the night. Let's get that up there. So we are up to uh, $53 in tips so far tonight. Thank you, everybody. Poopster cheered and said, I appreciate your ability to change and admit your wrongdoings. It really takes a lot of guts to do that on the internet. Listen. And the thing is, it took me a long time. It took me a real long time to stop being so defensive and realizing how badly I was doing things. But after listening to your feedback for many years and looking back at the old me and saying, oh my god, like, I was just so obstinate. I was like talking to a brick wall, right? My shit didn't stink and I didn't ever want to improve. And I would criticize and constantly take like backhanded stabs at other content creators. Like, you're right. In 2014, I would have said, wow, that content creator tonight had to do an interactive stream where they just basically talk to people all night instead of putting out gameplay. And they gave shout outs every single time. What a slave to the people who are contributing. I would never want to be like that. And admittedly, back then, that was my mentality was I was a YouTuber. I made enough ad revenue that I didn't have to do those kind of things. But now that I do them, I'm like, you know what? Yeah. Does it take away? Look, I barely played the game tonight. And people will complain that tonight they didn't get gameplay of Fire Emblem because I talked to you guys, right? I know that they will. But at the same time, having a meaningful conversation with my audience like this is only possible if I have an interactive stream where I'm directly interacting with you guys and saying thank you for your contributions, right? So the old content I used to put out was different and got stale. So I needed to change to become someone who had more meaningful content, and I feel that I do now. So 2014 Phil, at that time, thought he was right because he was so head up in the clouds and surrounded by money out the ass with ad revenue on YouTube that he never even bothered to peek down through the clouds at, at reality and say, oh, look, there's actually meaningful stuff down there that I'm missing out on because I'm an idiot. And instead of looking and being proactive, I'm just going to be a moron and sit up here until, uh-oh, the clouds cleared up and I fell down and crashed to earth, right? That's what happened. But I'm able to look back at my old self and say I was wrong and admit, admit when I was stupid and, and change for the better. And that's what I'm trying to do every day is try to, like, show you guys that I have really made an effort to change and be a better content creator for you because I feel that I know back then I was being stupid, okay? Uh, Dick Dickerson sent me a dollar thirty. He said, uh, he just said a bunch of stuff that I'm not even gonna read. I, it's not even English. Seriously. You gotta work on that. I can't even understand a word you just said. Zelda Minis just cheered and said, I appreciate your realness and genuine reactions. Thank you. Zenith tip $2. He said, you can't be personable with trolls. Even now, they're totally derailing the stream into gameplay. You can find the cure to all diseases tomorrow and these people will still find a reason to hate you every single day. And you know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. 
I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna argue that or debate. I think you're correct. Lawler Mittens did a 100-bit chance that PewDiePie hasn't portrayed a character in years. He's moved into more comedy than doing over-the-top reactions. I don't think it's fair to compare him with Dr. Disrespect, who has become successful because of his fake persona. It's cool. It took him 10 years to become successful. It wasn't overnight. Um, oh, I gotta take a sip. Fair enough. I don't watch PewDiePie, but we all know that PewDiePie started out like that. Like, that's how he got popular. And then after having a giant audience from being a character, now he's able to change it up. I guess that's a good thing, right? But fair enough, he didn't he didn't become popular overnight being being himself. He was a character first, which is the point that I was making here, that that's not what I want to become, okay? Uh, RBG fan did 100-bit cheers. Glad to see you're back and hydrated. The best bubbles are similar to Dr. Disrespect, but not to the same extent. I love your streams because you're honest. You do understand it's completely different to put on a vest as a celebration and then the stream continues as normal versus actually completely acting like someone different from who you are. How do you think that's the same, exactly? The bubbles don't even simplify anything. I just did start doing them because I felt like it. It's not because it's not a symbolism. It's not a part of a character. I just said, fuck yeah, I'll just start doing it because I, I think it's fun. So I, I didn't even understand the comparison. Like, literally, it's apples to oranges, but you think, well, it's fruit, so it's the same. <laughs> Holy shit. But these hemorrhoids have attached themselves to my ass and refuse to be removed. Roughly 20 minutes left hit me at $1.30 and he says, Hey, Phil, roughly how much time is left on stream and roughly how much left in tips? <laughs> I guess someone wanted me to call attention, even though I wasn't paying attention. Someone wants me to call attention to the fact that there's roughly 20 minutes left on stream and I cannot go into overtime tonight. And we are at $62 in tips, so we have not hit the tips goal yet. There you go. Someone wanted me to point attention to that. Massive fucking hinge! Ha 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 ha! Right now, honestly, looks like this may be the end. I mean, we have uh, not even 20 minutes. In fact, we have 13 minutes left on this. Excuse me. That's incorrect. We have 18 minutes left on this stream. And we haven't hit the tips goal and we're, we're not near it, so... It might be the end, and I cannot do overtime tonight, so... Looks like this might be the end, guys. I'm sorry that it might be the end tonight, but if it is, it is. It is what it is, and that's okay. <laughs> guys, there's a 10 minutes left on the stream, and we have not had the tips call. So this is it, and I'm not kidding. Like, this is the end of the stream. So, 10 minutes, or this is the end of the vestry. I'm sorry if it ends tonight, guys. Stop stalling. I'm not stalling. Oh, my God, people are stupid. The stream's going off in 10 minutes. There's no stalling here. Thing while we're at it. <laughs> Chat's going crazy because now we have... Seven minutes left on the stream, and, you know, we, no one's tipping, so they think this is the end of the, the, the goal, or the event streak, and very well may be. So, seven minutes left on the stream, everyone. We got a couple more support conversations to do, but it's not looking good. I mean, legit, this is the end of the event streak. This has got to be it. Sucks. I have stuff planned for Saturday, but I guess we'll do gameplay hmm. instead. Massive fucking hinge! Ha 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 ha! Alfred Aponte to me $10. Thank you very much, Alfred. And then, Not Wilson. Tipped me $38. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, that does take us to the tips goal. In fact, because of the, the $10 tip also from Alfred, we have actually exceeded the tips goal tonight by $10. And I very much appreciate that. So, I know that someone put up a poll, but the truth of the matter is, <laughs> it doesn't really matter what vest I wear because I'm going to be wearing it for a grand total of three minutes. By the time the poll ends, there's not going to be enough time. So I'm just going to grab the blue vest because that's what I wore earlier. Ha ha ha, thanks for the money before you go. In fact, on Tuesday when I go out with my wife, I'm going to spend your money. And I'm going to laugh at when I'm doing it. I'm going to say, that was that asshole's money. Phil has indoctrinated children who send him money. Blatantly milking for money. It's a money pit. It's gone, just gone like that. In an instant, fucking gone. I just care about money. That I just can't help it. I eBay. Contributions are mandatory. But I need your help. I am appealing directly to you. No decency, no respect, no common sense, no fucking maturity. It's the guy who just doesn't get reality. 